Hello, welcome to another debate by Optic Straight. I'm Masha. Taylor, hello. Uh, today we're going to talk about the um, really popular topic, uh, and this is which binoculars are best for birding, for bird watchers. I'm sure that we will make a really big buying guide regarding yeah. this topic in the future, but now we just uh, will uh, yeah. enable our viewers a small glimpse of everything what's important with the binoculars yeah. for birding. So what are some with uh, magnification? Which magnifications are better? It's very simple. I would say majority of birders or those bird watching enthusiasts use either eight times magnification or mm -hmm. 10 times magnification. Mm -hmm. Everything else is really, really rare. 12 times magnification is very rare. Seven times or six times magnification also very rare. So, and I would say eight time, uh, eight time magnification is more for novice users, mm -hmm. for somebody who is beginning with this hobby. Because the wider, wider field, field of view, view yeah. less uh, shaking of image. Yeah. And then for more experienced user, is, it's 10 times magnification. Yeah, the details are better seen with yeah. 10 times, yeah. It's like this, that usually people train with eight times that they get used to, I would say, stable hands. So there is yeah. less shaking. And when they get over this, uh, I would say when they, they really know how to hold the binoculars, yeah. that the image is really, really stable, then they go to 10 times magnification to, to get better details and better uh, uh, rendering, better resolution and so on. Yeah. So in the terms of uh, lens diameter, uh, we usually have uh, binoculars with uh, 32. Sorry, and this is yeah, this, uh... sorry. <laughs> Com so compact binoculars, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, then full size with 42 uh, millimeters objective lens. Um, we do because there is many users uh, for bird watching uh, which are children. Yeah. So people buy their children yeah. binoculars for bird watching. Yeah, yeah, to observe together. So we recommend. Uh, more compact binoculars, so which are smaller with 32 millimeter objective lens, and those who are more experienced, like you said, uh, which uh, do have magnification of 10, these are with uh, 42. 42. Yeah. And on this point, we have to mention that we do have two buying guides. Yeah. We have the buying guide for compact binoculars. Yeah. And for full size 8 by 42. Even though those, that buying guide for, the, uh, for 8 by 42 binoculars can be used also for 10 by, two, uh, by 42 yeah, binoculars. Yeah. It's very, very similar. Yeah. What about 56, 50 millimeter binoculars? No, those no. are not. It's uh, just too heavy. They are too heavy, uh, too, yeah. too big. And because the compactness of binoculars is very important with bird watchers. Yeah, they move, they carry them yeah, around and yeah. so on. Yeah. And the uh, viewing, you mostly use binoculars for longer periods of time when mm -hmm. bird watching. So... I mean, you get tired quickly if those if binoculars. Heavy and yeah, big. yeah. And what about low light use? Um, no, really bird rare, watching right? happens in the daytime, so. Mm. So, ten uh, well, uh, fifty millimeter objective lenses and fifty-six millimeter yeah. objective lenses are not no. not really important. No. Uh, what about uh, the prisms? Well, I would say you can see it on the table. They are all roof prisms. Yeah. So. Poro prisms are almost dying out in, in this category of uh, users. So the birders, they don't use poro prism binoculars. Yeah, because they often. are meant for low light. So. But they're big and bulky yeah, and so yeah. on. Uh, and also when we speak about uh, roof prisms, uh, they mostly use Schmitt and, Schmitt and Pechon mm -hmm. uh, prisms because they are lighter, smaller, compacter. Uh, Abbe Koenig is really, really rare yeah. and not used by birders. Okay. Okay, and then we, we go to size and weight yeah as we mentioned the size is Im really important and the weight the smaller the better yeah um so no big and bulky binoculars um especially for those for children mm -hmm. and also even though i also know quite a few i would say experienced birders which use 10 by 32 binoculars because yeah. they can put it in any pocket and it's really light yeah and so on. these are not only for children yeah mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so uh, what is important with uh, the image of binoculars? First of all, what we need to know is that the bird watching community are the most demanding users of binoculars in the world. Yeah. So image resolution, color fidelity, field of view, 
uh, low amount of chromatic aberration mm. and so on, it's the most important with, uh, with binoculars meant for birding. Because let's say with color fidelity, the only shades of colors which are different on a bird can define if, if the bird is male or female. Yeah. Or uh, if you want to distinguish between different species, mm -hmm. again, maybe just a small color difference can, can tell you yeah. about two different species. So image resolution, field of view, color fidelity, and as low amount of optical errors as possible, like chromatic aberration, that's really, really important with binoculars for birding. That also means that usually people who do bird watching, they invest more into yeah. binoculars to get this optical quality. Yeah. And then what is also very important is the focusing. Yeah, the focus has to be really quick to so, cause the birds move fast. Yeah. And you have to uh, spot them quickly. And uh, when they move, you have to basically quickly uh, react quick focus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We did a separate video about it uh, and we yeah. explained one example. You see a bird on 10 meters. Okay. And you focus yeah. it on 10 meters. Then the bird flies and goes to 150 meters in 10 seconds. Yeah. And you wish to see it again, and then you have to refocus on 150 meters. So the focusing has to be really fast and easy. Otherwise, you will always have problems yeah. following the birds. Yeah. Uh, I um, think we come to the conclusion. Yeah. Eh? yeah, that's it. So the basic conclusion would be for birding, buy the best possible binoculars you are able to buy. Uh, because otherwise, you will just be in a loop of buying binoculars which will not satisfy yeah. your demands and then buying new pair of binoculars every two years. Yeah. <laughs> Buy once, cry once, and have a really good optical experience. Yeah. Also, like we mentioned, probably the expectations of optical quality are the highest in yeah. this, this These are really the most, the most demanding users. Yeah. So they should maybe um, look towards more premium manufacturers. There is a big trio, Leica, yeah. Zeiss, Swarovski. Swarovski. There are also, I would say, a little bit below them, Japanese manufacturers like Kova yeah. and others. Nikon. Uh, Nikon, yeah, and many others. We, yeah, know, yeah. we came also to GPO and so on, yeah. uh, Meopta and so on. But uh, buy the best possible binoculars you can, you can afford. And I think this is, it would be a good advice so that you don't buy a new pair of binoculars because yeah. of, um, of not meeting your expectations, expectations yeah. every two years. Yeah. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. And if you like our channel, please subscribe. Bye.